this is Harini again, and back with another little demo. Last time we went through our accounts payable flow, and this time around we'll be walking through Bluevine's latest launches in the receivable space with both invoicing and payment links. This has been one of our highest requested features, so I'm really excited to show you what we've built here and uh, really just how effortless we've made it to manage invoices, accept payments online, and get real-time visibility into all of your transactions, all from your existing Bluevine dashboard. So you can see here that I already have a Bluevine account pulled up here, um, and then you'll find sales on the left-hand side of your nav. So I think for simplicity, we'll actually just go top to bottom here, starting with payment links. So payment links let you easily request payments online with your customers being able to pay through a credit card, debit card, wallets, or ACH direct debit. So it's a super fast, no code way to accept payments online without generating a specific invoice. So we've partnered with Stripe to bring payment processing to you. Um, so in order to actually enable payment links on your account, you'll have to either create a new um, Stripe account and sign up here or just connect your existing account as well. So I won't go through the full onboarding or connect flow at this point, but it really does only just take a few minutes and then even shorter than that if you're connecting your existing account. But let's instead jump to an account that already does have Stripe connected. And this is what you'll see instead. Uh, clearly I have a couple that are created already, but let's go ahead and create a new one for flowers for 50. Um, I'll make the description okay with floral arrangement, generate that. And now I can do a few things here. So I can either just copy the link as is or save the QR code if I want to print it out and post it somewhere. Um, well, instead just copy the link here and open it in another tab so you can see what that looks like. And here it is. So just to go through it live, I'll go ahead and fill this out. My first name, last name, email, and I'll click. Okay. So because I have um, gone through Stripe's checkout flow before, I can actually just use 2FA through Link, which pre-fills my card data for a more immediate checkout experience, so I don't have to go searching for my wallet somewhere. I'll skip that for now, um, just to go through it manually and complete it through card. So I'll fill this out. and complete the transaction. And that's pretty much it. So I can expect to get a receipt sent to my email immediately now. The other neat thing about this is that you can actually reshare the payment links that you create with as many customers as you want. Um, so you can just continue sending them through text, email, again, just print out that QR code if you need to share that way, um, or really just however you prefer to um, send out your payment links. Moving on to invoices, uh, what I'll start with saying is um, our invoicing product can be used with or without payment processing. So if you don't have Stripe connected or you don't really need to accept card payments online, that's perfectly fine. Um, you can actually just go ahead and create and send invoices as you normally would here. If you do have Stripe connected though, this just enables online payments for your invoices like we just went through. But otherwise the experience between the two is literally just the same. But with that, let me go ahead to create invoice and you'll see that I actually already have a logo uploaded. So that's something that'll show up on there. Um, starting at the top, we have quite a few things that you can do here. So for starters, let's go ahead and add a new customer. And I'll just make myself the customer here. And then I'll put in an address. Go ahead and save that. Now, if you're on a paid plan with Bluevine, you'll also be able to adjust the frequency here um, and create recurring invoices. Otherwise, you'll just see this defaulted to one time, but that's also what I'll actually stick with for now as well. I'll also keep the default invoice number, um, though I can, of course, change it. 
I'll keep Sunday the same and then due date. I'll do net 30. After that, I can go ahead and set some auto reminders on this as well so that the system can go ahead and automatically just send them out on my behalf so I don't have to chase down uh, payment on the invoice. Now, this level of customization is really just available for a booth line paid plan. So if you're on our standard plan, for example, you'll really just see uh, one of these options here. I'll go ahead and save that. Now under notes, say something like, thanks for your business. And then moving down to items, I'll select an item that I already have. We'll do peonies here for 60. I'll make that quantity four. And I'll also just create another item for tulips so you can see that as well. And then we'll make that 50, set tax rate to 7.25, which of course is optional. So it may either just not be relevant for you at all or something completely different. And I'll jot down a quick description and go ahead and save that. I also have um, the option of uploading an attachment if I ever want to upload a purchase order or contract or anything like that. Um, they'll just skip that for now. You'll also see down here that I already have payment processing enabled with Stripe, as I mentioned earlier for this account. But if I didn't, you would see a connect button here instead. So I'll go ahead and click on preview now. And then I should be able to see a few different ways of sending this invoice. So the first is through email, in which case we'll go ahead and email that across to your customer on your behalf with the PDF of the invoice attached. You can also share through an invoice link as well, which allows for online payment options. Um, a third option here is PDF, if you prefer to download and share that yourself or even print it out. And the final option here is SMS if you have your customer's phone number on file and want to be able to send it that way. In this example, go ahead and just create a link so I can open it up now. Copy that, open it up, and here it is. I'll go ahead and make a payment on this as well so you can see. And I'll stick with card. Okay. And it's that easy. So going back to the invoices dashboard now, though, you'll see uh, the invoice that I just created here. And you'll see that it did automatically just get marked as paid after I've made my pay payment. Um, if it was instead, uh, paid through cash or check, for example, um, I can, of course, always just mark it paid uh, manually if needed. But essentially, this dash lets you keep track of all of your invoices, whether they're in draft, unpaid, they're pending, overdue, or paid, uh, as we've seen here. So you really just have total visibility into where all of your receivables stand. On top of that, you can also separately manage, add, and edit all of your customers and items through the dashboards that we have here too. So here you'll find all of your saved customer profiles, um, including their contact details. And then items, of course, will host your catalog of products and services. Going back up to transactions, though, you'll find both of the transactions that we just did. It should be these two right here. Um, looks like they were both successful as we just saw earlier, uh, and I can see who paid, how much, and of course the fees that are being assessed. Beyond just the successful transactions though, I'll also find all of the unsuccessful or declined transactions too, like this one here, um, as well as a couple other statuses like pending, returned, refunded, disputed, and a whole bunch more. And as you start accumulating these transactions, you'll find all of your expected future and historical payouts in our balances dashboard. So once this starts populating, um, you'll be able to track all of your payouts and see their statuses right here. And so I know that was a lot that we just sped through and there are a few things that we didn't even get to yet, but 
you know, definitely feel free to reach out to us at Blue Vine um, or chat with our sales team or myself if you ever have any questions. And we'd be more than happy to answer any and all questions um, that you have and go into more detail depending on what your payment acceptance needs are. We also just launched this on our platform not too long ago. So we have a ton of features that are coming up that we'd love to chat with you about as we're looking to build more and more advanced tools for y'all. So all of this put together, we really hope that this allows you to spend less time managing invoices and chasing payments and more time growing your business. Thanks for watching.